Hello and welcome. In this how to draw video, we're going to draw one of my all time favorite uh, comic characters, and that is Snoopy and Woodstock from the uh, comic Peanuts. And of course, uh, drawn by the amazing storyteller and illustrator Charles Schultz. Now, when I was growing up, I used to read a lot of Peanut comics, and I've actually got one here. This is the one I used to read a lot when I was little, so I've probably read it a thousand times, I just read it over and over, and it was always really funny. So this is what we're gonna be drawing today, one of the, uh, well, Snoopy and Woodstock from here. Now, the thing that I liked about Snoopy and Woodstock, now I thought it was really funny, and you can kind of see it on this page here as well. So he's always sitting on top of his little red dog house. Now, when I was little, I thought that was absolutely crazy. I mean, the dog normally sits inside the dog house, not on top. So that is, and I always wondered what was it like inside? Why didn't he go inside? But uh, yeah, even look in, in the rain, he is sitting on top of his dog house. So that's what we're gonna be drawing. We're gonna be drawing Snoopy and Woodstock. This is his little bird friend sitting on top of his red dog house. So I hope you follow along and have lots of fun. So uh, let's get drawing. All right, so we've got our paper and I think we'll start drawing out Snoopy on top first. And what we're gonna have is, is Woodstock, that is his little bird friend, sitting on top of Snoopy's tummy. So we'll have him lying down, because quite often we see him lying down on top of his, uh, his dog house, which again, I thought was the most funniest thing. So let's start drawing the, his face first, or his nose and mouth. So we start with a bit of a, a bump shape like that. And again, with Snoopy, uh, the style of the line uh, is quite rough and can be a little bit wobbly, so it doesn't have to be a perfect shape, which is great. All right, so let's draw his nose. It's just a little button nose on top here like that. And I'm just gonna color that in black. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of white on there. So it just shows you it's a bit of a highlight on there. All right, so let's draw the, the top of his head because this is, he's lying down and facing up. So we'll draw another little line here like that. So this front part is his nose and his snout, I guess, and the top of his head there. All right, so next thing we're gonna draw is his ear. Now, because he's lying down, his ear is drooping down. Like he's quite got quite a long ear as well. Now his ear is black, so let's color that in. Now, the way that it's colored in, it's not completely black. There's still a little bit of white that's showing there. All right, so let's move across. So now we'll draw a little line about up to here. So just past where we've drawn his uh, nose and his mouth. Now we're going to draw his arm. Um, it's kind of drooped down like that. And so that's his paw and arm like that. And what we do on here, we'll draw two little lines that will show the separation between his paws. And then we'll continue the line across here and we'll stop about there. So then it means that the arm is kind of sitting halfway. And then we can draw his feet nice round shape like that and it stops in there like that and again just like if his uh his paws or his hands i'm going to draw another two little lines there for his toes okay and his legs it's just a short line like that and i'm going to draw a nice round belly going up and down like that okay and now he wears a little collar it's quite a thin black collar, just like that, uh, just across his neck there. And the other thing we're gonna draw is, you can see his other foot just behind the front foot. It's just a little bit hidden, so you can see just a little bit of the bump there. And again, because the picture's quite flat, that gives it a bit of depth and makes it stick out nicely. All right, so Snoopy's gonna be finished. The only thing we're gonna draw is his eyes. So we're gonna draw a nice little line like that, because he's lying down and, and sleeping. Okay, so that is Snoopy done. So let's draw his little bird friend, Woodstock. And what I like about Woodstock is he's got like, his feathers, but he's kind of got crazy hair or crazy feathers. So we'll draw a few lines out like that. And then he's got a nice round shape like that for his nose. 
and we draw a line down and a bump up like that, which is his his tail or his feathers. And then just another little line down like that. Now these details are quite small, so you may want to get a thinner pen. So I'll just get a small pen here so we can draw, draw a bit of the mouth here like this. And again, his eyes are always it's got a bit of a line like that for his eyes. And it's because he's sitting down, we're gonna draw a few lines like this, so he's got his feet up like that. Okay. So that is Woodstock, his little bird friend sitting on his belly. So the next part we're gonna draw is his dog house. So he's sitting on top of the dog house there. So let's draw a couple of lines out here and then one out there. So it runs through there. So that's the, the very top of his dog house. Now we're gonna draw the roof. Now the roof isn't exactly square. It kind of looks like a square, but it's actually wider at the bottom than it is at the top. So the shape is actually a trapezoid. Uh, and that means that there's got two parallel lines, but then the other lines on the side are not necessarily parallel, like a square, so it may be on a, on a slight angle. So we'll draw another line down, down the page, starting about here, we'll go across, and we make that a little bit wider than the lines at the top. And then it's just a matter of connecting this point to that point with a line going down like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, now his roof is made of, it looks like wood, uh, like a, a timber wood or planks of wood. So we'll draw another little line down here going on in a, on an angle. Same on the other side, just very little. And then we'll draw another line here as well. So that kind of looks like the, the edge of the, the planks of wood. Now that this is not one solid plank, you may remember that it's made up of different planks of wood. So we're gonna draw two lines in the middle. Now when we start the line, we're not gonna start right at the line, so we're gonna start a little bit in from the line and we're gonna finish a little bit uh, before this line at the end there as well. So just like this. So we'll do one here, like that. So you can see here there's still a little bit of gap there. And then we we'll draw another one on the top. So roughly each line uh, breaks up into three planks. So each line is one third of the space there. So we'll draw another one here, go behind his ear and out there. And if it's a little bit wobbly, that's fine because that's a sort of style that Snoopy has drawn in and it, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so that's the roof done. And now we draw the, the bottom part. And this is nice and easy, so it's just one line going down there, and then we draw another parallel line there as well. And we make these lines uh, a little bit smaller, so it's inside, so we leave a little gap on each side there. And then we do the same thing as well, so we're going to leave this uh, space blank. Uh, we're not going to draw the line across here because, well you can if you want to, but as I remember he is normally sit on grass, so we can do some sort of uh, grass shapes. You, go, you can make it nice, random like that. So, really up to you how you want to do that. Okay. And we can colour that in later. It's up to you if you want to do lots of blades of grass sticking out there, that's some nice detail. And it's sort of the style that was uh, drawn. Uh, for Snoopy, or you can do a straight line if you like. All right, and the last thing we need to do is add some details inside of the bottom part of his uh, doghouse. And again, we're going to draw some horizontal lines here as well. So again, we break it down in third, just like what we did on the roof. But on this side here, we're going to start on the top on the left. We're actually going to start from the line uh, here and go across and we stop about here. And then on the other side, we are gonna go back. So we're gonna start on the line here, move across, and then we're gonna stop and not join completely on the line. Okay, now the other thing that uh, we can add is we can add a bit of a thicker line underneath here because the roof sticks out a little bit and this is just a shade 
um, that is made by the roof sticking out there. And again, it's just a nice, very simple, nice little bit of detail that makes it, uh, gives it a bit of depth. All right, so there we go. We've got um, Snoopy and Woodstock sitting on top of their doghouse, or Snoopy's doghouse. Uh, next part is to colour in. And we're done, so we've finished colouring in. Uh, simple to colour in because uh, Snoopy is black and white, so it's easy. His friend Woodstock is yellow, and his doghouse is a nice red colour. So there we go. So we hope you had lots of fun and you followed along. Uh, if you want to see some more uh, Snoopy characters, let, let us know which characters you'd like us to draw and uh, we'll make a video of that. Uh, but thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye.